The school board decided it is time for him to go amid the hazing scandal. The president of Warren D. LaSalle High School has been shown the door. The calls for John M. Knight to step down from his post have been coming for months. And today, D. LaSalle Collegiate School in Warren announced Knight has been fired. All of this is during the alleged hazing scandal that rocked the prep school community. But as Nick Monticelli reports, Knight is fighting back. A huge headline coming from De La Salle Collegiate today. Leadership not only deciding to place President John M. Knight on leave, but his contract is not being renewed and the search for his replacement will start immediately. All of this comes amidst allegations of hazing in the football locker room, but it's how it all happened that upset many in the De La Salle community. Some saying Knight had ulterior motives. In December, parents rallied and demanded Knight be fired. I see a lot of a lot of letters and a lot of uh, things saying that we've kept families in the loop. We haven't been in the loop. We have no idea what's going on. Seven of the students involved in the alleged hazing are facing criminal charges, but at least one is also suing the school and Knight, claiming racial discrimination. You know, I applaud the uh, board of trustees and the Christian brothers for um, doing you know, the investigation and getting to the bottom of what we've been saying all along. In my opinion, he did it to get rid of a football coach and he did it on the backs of my kids. Knight's attorney says they've asked for an explanation on why Knight has been fired, saying all they can see is retaliation for whistleblowing. In a statement, she said, since reporting the hazing in a program involving a popular coach, Mr. Knight has been subject to outrageous personal abuse, including threats to himself and his family. This community needs to ask itself what it stands for, because this man did the right thing and now has been attacked and removed. And we're also hearing from sources that Knight is considering a lawsuit against De La Salle, a protection lawsuit saying that he is a whistleblower. In Warren, Nick Monticelli, Local 4. All right, Nick, also the attorney who sued the school and Knight on behalf of the suspended students tells us they're not sure yet how Knight's firing will affect their lawsuit.